Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm going to show you top 10 JavaScript interview questions and answers to get your very first job as a junior developer. Let's get started. Number 1. What are the data types supported by JavaScript? So, we have primitive data types like string, boolean, number, big int, which can represent integers with arbitrary precision, undefined null, symbol, we also have object and functions. Number two. Is JavaScript a case-sensitive language? Yes, JavaScript is a case-sensitive language. The language keywords, variables, function names, and any other identifiers must always be typed with a consistent capitalization of all letters. Let's have a look at this example, where we're going to use almost similar names, except for the first letters. So what will be the result for this function? Obviously, programming. Question 3. How can you create an object in JavaScript? JavaScript supports object concepts very well. You can create an object using the object literal as follows. In order to create object, use curly braces. Let's see what's going to be result. In a console, this is how our object looks like. Question number four. How can you create an array in JavaScript? In order to create an array, use square brackets. Let's check the result in console. And this is how our array looks in a console. Question number five. What's our difference between anonymous and named functions? In JavaScript, we can define function declaration when we use function keyword and provide the name of the function, function expression, when we assign function to a variable using function keyword and anonymous function where we do not provide the name of the function which makes it a little bit more difficult to call them from other places now what's the difference between function declaration and expression we're gonna see on this example let's have a look at this test function we have function declaration and function expression over here. Now we will try to call both of them here in the body and let's check result. As you can see, this one is throwing an error as we expected before. Now let's comment it out for a second and let's see if bar will get executed. It works. Why is it so? It's because of hoisting. Basically, hoisting allows us to use functions or variables before defining them. One thing which you have to keep in mind that only declaration are hoisted in JavaScript, therefore our full function won't work because it's a function expression and not declaration. Number six. Can you assign an anonymous function to a variable and pass it as an argument to another function? Yes, you can. We already have seen that in the previous example. When we assign anonymous function to a variable or where we passed this anonymous function to another one. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine in both examples. Number seven, how does type of operator work? The type of operator is used to get the data type of its operand. The operand can be either a literal or a data structure such as a variable, a function or an object. It's an unary operator that is placed before its single operand which can be of any type. Its value is a string indicating the type of the operand. Number 8. How to create a cookie using JavaScript. The simplest way to create a cookie is to assign a string value to a document.cookie object, which looks like this. Now let's check if that worked. Let's check cookies on our page. And we have our key one, value one, available. Number nine. What's the difference between double and triple equal operator? 
JavaScript has two visually similar yet very different ways to test equality. You can test equality with double or triple equal sign. Here is the difference. When using a triple equals, in JavaScript we are testing for strict equality, which means that both type and the value we are comparing have to be the same. Let's look at this example. When we use a double equal sign, JavaScript will try to convert values to a like type and then compare the values. For that reason, usually you would rather use triple equal sign. Now take some time and look at other examples. Number 10. What are the different kinds of browser storage? If you open developer tools and navigate to the application tab, you can see which storage are available in a Chrome web browser. So except for the cookies, which you already know, you can use local storage or session storage and some browsers, but not all of them, support internal databases like index database and WebSQL. Finally, I have a bonus question for you. What is the difference between null and undefined? In a nutshell, undefined typically means that the variable has been declared but not defined, while null is assigned value and it means nothing. Other than that, both null and undefined are primitives and they are both falsy values. So these were top 11 interview questions which you might hear on your very first interview for a junior developer role. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, please do a comment below this video and let me know what other questions you were asked on your interview. And don't forget to subscribe our channel because every Tuesday and Thursday you're gonna find a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.